hi everyone and welcome to the Spinal Research Institute's In Conversation video series. One of the initiatives of the Spinal Research Institute is the Spinal Cord Injury Research Writing Prize, which asks researchers to write about their work in an easy to understand uh, way for a non-scientific audience. Entries are subject to a blind judging by an international panel and the successful pieces are published in a digital publication called Why Research Matters. Today, we're going to be talking about the importance of research communication. And I'm joined by one of this year's Writing Prize authors, Dr. Jennifer Coker, who is a research scientist at Craig Hospital in Denver, Colorado. Dr. Coker has worked in the field of traumatic spinal cord injury since 1997 and has been at Craig Hospital for 10 years. She's the project co-director of the Spinal Cord Injury Model Systems and is a principal investigator for several other projects. Welcome, Jen. It's good to see you today. Thanks, Christine. Thanks for having me on here. I'm excited to <laughs> chat with you. Fantastic. Look, um, I first wanted to ask you a little about uh, what your research interest areas are and why you entered this year's SCI Research Writing Prize. Sure. Um, well, my research focuses on psychosocial and health outcomes after spinal cord injury, primarily non-traumatic or primarily traumatic, but we are starting to work with non-traumatic populations as well. Um, my research topic for my dissertation was complementary and integrative healthcare used to treat pain for people with spinal cord injury. Um, and then my current um interests, because as we all know, once we write a dissertation, we want nothing to do with that anymore. <laughs> um, my current interest is um, the impact of oral health on health outcomes after spinal cord injury, which um, is very well studied in the general population, but very understudied in the SCI population. Um, I had been wanting to enter the the SCI writing prize contest for the last few years, um, but I, I just you know, I was overwhelmed with dissertation stuff and um, I don't, I just don't think I'm that great a writer. So, um, but I was talking with a colleague of mine about the oral health line of research and she encouraged me to submit because um, she said your, your enthusiasm and your love for what you're doing really comes through when you're just talking about the research and that's the purpose of this writing prize is to talk about the research in an accessible manner you're not writing a dissertation you're not writing a research article you're writing a piece of um a, 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 an information piece so that everybody can understand what you're doing um I always, whenever I talked about it, and I would be very enthusiastic, probably too enthusiastic, um, but I would always qualify it with, yeah, yeah, I know it's not nearly as sexy as the neuro recovery stuff, um, but I feel like impacting oral health can have an important and immediate impact for people with spinal cord injury. Um, and then I was listening to another presentation at a meeting um, in which the speaker said rehabilitation and research may not be seductive or sensational, but often the less sensational option is the most effective. And as soon as she said that, it, you know, I said, oh, that's exactly what I'm going to write about in my piece and how I want to write it. So <laughs> after that, it was actually a lot of fun writing the piece um, on oral health, which um, in, in my research, as it's been ongoing, I found out people really like to talk about oral health, which surprised me. Uh, so I hope people enjoy reading the piece as much as I enjoyed uh, writing it. Thank you. Um, I think what what it, the writing prize and the, the publication demonstrates is that there is a real diversity of research in the spinal cord injury field. So I think that brings me to my next question is, why um, for you is science and research communication so important? Oh, I could go on for days about this as, as you know. Um, I really think it's important, especially for early career researchers and clinicians who are um, starting to engage in research to know that, that we aren't working in a bubble. Um, spinal cord injury research, is a small field 
um, so that's what makes it even more important to communicate what we're doing, um, to move science forward, to improve outcomes and not recreate the wheel, not work in those silos, those bubbles where, you know, hey, I have a great idea and it turns out you had the same or similar great idea. We should work together. And so it's important to communicate not just the results of our research, but at all stages when we're developing our research, um, you know, as we're moving along, uh, particularly um, to stay out of those bubbles and also so that we can engage consumers in all aspects because the the people with spinal cord injury and their caregivers, family members, um, clinicians who are not doing research, it's important to involve them and let them know what's being done because their input can only make our research better. And working together instead of working apart will make the research better and improve outcomes. Absolutely, it's, um, it's a really great tool to facilitate collaboration, I think so. That's yeah. Um, you are really active on social media and you're also the social media lead for the International Spinal Cord Society. So how do you use social media as a means for sharing your work and your research? Well, there's there's the obvious ways. First of all, you know, sharing links to new publications, um, presentations when applicable, study recruitment opportunities are important. Um, and I also, I, you know, I love sharing other people's study recruitment opportunities. Um, and I find myself doing that quite often. Um, but I also love the social aspect of social media, sharing photos from conferences and meetings, from celebrations, um, tagging people, and then making new connections through those connections. Um, it kind of goes back to what I was saying in my first response about knowing I'm not working in a bubble. Um, you know, there are other people out there doing what I'm doing, maybe doing it better, slightly different, um, who who can only improve um, the work all around. Um, attending conferences is great. We all we all know that, but it's it's been limited in the last few years because of COVID especially, and um, especially for early career researchers who may not have the resources to attend conferences. Social media is a great way to meet those people that you would meet at the conferences. And it's a lot less intimidating to approach someone on Twitter and say, hey, you know, I'm a big fan of your work or, or, or not even do that, but just follow them and follow their work. Um, and then you get to know them through social media. And then when you do get the opportunity to meet them at a conference or if you bump into them, uh, wherever. It's not as intimidating to go up and introduce yourself. So I think that's that's one really important aspect of using social media to communicate research. Um, because also, um, as an early career researcher, the more we can get what we are doing out there, and then the experts in the field see what we're doing, then it, you know, it goes both ways. We learn, they learn, it's, it's a mutual thing. So um, I know a lot of people are social media averse. <laughs> they just don't wanna do it, but I would, I would really um, encourage everyone to um, at least choose one form of social media and uh, you don't have to do all of them because that's a nightmare. <laughs> Um, but, you know, choose one and, and see what you learn. And you, I think everybody would be surprised at what you can learn. I think it's, um, like you said, particularly for early career researchers, it's a really great way to get um, the research messages out there about the work that, that you're undertaking. So it's great. Yeah. Fantastic. Look, thanks so much for your time today, Jen, and for joining me and the SRIs in conversation. We really do appreciate it. The Why Research Matters digital publication of our writing prize pieces is available on the Spinal Research Institute website, which is the sri.org forward slash writing dash prize. And you can also follow us on social media on Facebook and Twitter. So thanks again, Jen. It's been really great to speak with you today. All right. Thanks, Christine.